Weather-wise, things are beginning to kick up a little bit in the tropics. No surprise, it's late August, and now for about the next eight weeks, uh, having activity in the tropics uh, should not be a surprise at all. A reminder of all of us in South Florida need to have our hurricane plans ready, not to use, but just have them ready uh, because we're in that time of the year. Here's the activity that we're watching. It's to our southeast. Tropical disturbance down there. It's moving toward us, and uh, it begins affecting our weather tomorrow with an increasing chance for showers and thunderstorms and flooding downpours. We know that routine already, uh, but we could see some gusty winds as well as the disturbance gets closer. And then after that, forecast to turn on to the northeast. This is the area where the development is possible once it gets back over the water off the east coast of Florida, pulling away from South Florida. So that's the one thing we're watching there. The other is what became Tropical Storm Chantal last night. It is forecast to weaken and just kind of meander up here in the northern Atlantic. And then finally we have the third, and it's a strong tropical wave, probably the strongest we've seen so far this season. But there's still a lot of dry air out here, so a development not expected with the tropical wave out here. In fact, there's another one right behind it. We'll keep our eyes on it as well, but development probably won't occur there. Here's the radar right now showing showers and thunderstorms around. You can see the activity moving on to the west. Some locally heavy activity over port parts of the coastal waters, but the activity kind of fading as it comes through. So keep the umbrellas handy. We have also seen heavy activity again today in the lower keys. And in fact, a flood advisory was in effect for Key West that was canceled in the last few minutes there. In terms of temperatures today, they've been on the warm side. Computer models show that the tropical disturbance is bringing moisture our way. That's 5 p.m. forecast for tomorrow evening. You see the deeper moisture in our area. There is Friday afternoon, Friday night. We're still under the moisture, and even as the disturbance pulls away, it looks like leftover moisture, which means a chance for showers and thunderstorms continuing right through Sunday, and some of those thunderstorms producing some heavy downpours. The rest of the country enjoying summer-like weather pretty hot through the southern plains into the northeast. Right now, New York City, 90, 96 in Dallas, 113 in Phoenix. Our forecast for tonight, we're going to see warm and humid conditions, some brief showers blowing by, low temperature near 80. For tomorrow, look for a mix of sun and clouds, a tropical breeze. The storms gradually increase in frequency and intensity throughout the day. High temperature near 90 degrees. For boaters, winds picking up a bit out of the east northeast at 15, seas 3 to 5 feet. Through the weekend, a better chance for storms tomorrow, and then gusty storms Friday and Saturday, lingering storms on Sunday. Back to you.